Hi, my name is Simeon Neil Asher, and the tricky point of this week is going to be slightly different. What we're going to do now is we're going to explore some clinical conditions which are relevant and look at the role that perhaps trigger points have to play in them. So let's start with the uh, carpal tunnel syndrome. Now, carpal tunnel syndrome is incredibly common. In fact, it's one of the most common forms of trapped nerve in the wrist. Um, what it involves is pressure through anatomical structures that onto a nerve called the median nerve. And the median nerve travels through what we call the carpal tunnel, which is uh, a series of bones in the wrist. And in some conditions, such as pregnancy, we're gonna look at later, there's a compromise and the median nerve can get trapped. Um, also, certain muscles can get tight and, and interfere with the nerve's uh, conduction and the nerve uh, efficiency. So here's a few facts uh, that we put up here. So it's more common in uh, females than males, 92% in females, 6% in men. Uh, 40 to 60 years of age, um, up to 60% of work-related injuries in Europe are attributed to carpal tunnel syndrome. Um, people that sit at a computer, at a keyboard, people that are using gaming um, and also cell phones uh, are at risk of, of having this uh, carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, associated, as we said before, with pregnancy, diabetes, uh, and people that are at work are populations like grocers, uh, packers, people in the meat and fish industry, uh, golfers, um, and musicians and mechanics, people that are going to be using their hands and wrists uh, that much. Also, hobbies such as, we said, gardening, needlework, golfing, canoeing may also be associated with carpal tunnel syndrome. Smoking has also been found to contribute to carpal tunnel syndrome. So let's look at the anatomy. Uh, carpal tunnel is on the palm side of the wrist. Uh, the main role of the carpal tunnel is to uh, protect the median nerve that supplies these nine tendons. It's a lovely picture here. You can see the median nerve come under this uh, palm aponeurosis. Lots of factors that can be associated, but, but generally what we see is numbness. So we get some numbness in the thumb, numbness in the uh, sort of medial uh, two and a half fingers plus the thumb, uh, and it's pathognomonic of a carpal tunnel syndrome. Often what people do is they, they shake their hands in the morning, they drop their hands out of the bed, and they try and kind of get the blood supply so they feel or, or reduce the swelling uh, around that carpal tunnel. So often the symptoms are worse at night. Uh, a classic carpal tunnel syndrome, people feel sort of tingling and they, they feel it at, at during night, especially because sometimes people sleep with their wrists in a flexed position. So there are various factors that can be associated with carpal tunnel syndrome, diabetes, obesity, uh, pregnancy, hypothyroidism, rheumatoid arthritis, and also, as we said, occupational things and hobbies, such as computing or gaming or over overuse of cell phones. So what about trigger points? Well, there's a couple of really interesting trigger points that are worth exploring if, you, if someone comes to you with carpal tunnel syndrome. So we can use massage on them, we can use deep stroking techniques, we can use IMS needling techniques, and if you have a good look at uh, Trigger Points 3D software, you'll see we've got a whole bunch of techniques in there, including uh, techniques by Dr. Bob Gowen showing us some needling. Um, so let's explore those together. Uh, the other thing that's worth saying is, of course, to look at the carpal tunnel in the context of the, the other parts of the body, the wrist, uh, the elbow, the forearm, the shoulder, and the thorax as well, because we can't really look at anything in complete isolation. So whilst Generally, we recognize carpal tunnel as a, neuro, a sort of a neuropathy or, or a, 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 an entrapment syndrome of the median nerve at the wrist. There are also some trigger points worth exploring which can mimic. Uh, the first one is palmaris longus, and palmaris longus is absent in about 16% of cases. Um, but, and it also has slight uh, sort of anatomical variation, which we're going to look at gently, but perhaps it's the most important muscle in terms of trigger points to look for if someone comes in with carpal tunnel syndrome. We can see that the palmar aponeurosis of the palmaris longus sits right on top of that carpal tunnel. So we know that uh, trigger points cause muscles to be slightly inefficient, fat, short, and compressed. Uh, and can compress the nerves. So look, here's uh, some different variations of the palmaris longus. We have uh, some uh, accessory slips, triplication, duplication. As we said, in 16% of cases, the palmaris longus doesn't exist at all. So let's explore the palmaris longus and, and its twin, its uh, fellow uh, culprit for carpal tunnel syndrome uh, called the pronator teres. So we're gonna start by looking at the pronator teres muscle. 
And we can see with the promoter teres, uh, short squat muscle runs from medially to laterally, uh, inserts into the radius bone. And look at the map of pain here. We can see the map of pain around the dorsum of the thumb, but, but again, an area where the median nerve passes underneath it and an area where we can potentially get entrapment. But here's the palmaris longus. Here's the palmar surface. This is taken from uh, frozen uh, from triggerpoints3d.com. And we can see that map of pain very similar to carpal tunnel pain. Uh, just looking at the software, we can see um, some uh, Gerwin videos here, Dr. Bob Gerwin. Um, also, we have a bunch of self-help uh, options in the software, which you can email to your patients. Uh, which can be very useful for them as well. So that is just some videos taken from uh, our software. Okay, uh, again, just to complete things, I'm including some self-help slides here, uh, just things that you can recommend to your patients, people that, uh, things they can do at home. So we just leave those on, state, on, on the screen for a couple of seconds. More available uh, information on uh, triggerpoints3d.com. It's all about the software. Uh, and all about uh, other ways that we can help. There are plenty more videos on trigger points uh, on our Facebook page, our YouTube page. Please subscribe to us uh, and like us. We like you uh, and we hope you found that really useful. Uh, good luck everyone and thank you very much.